Yeah, welcome back to KM6LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio with an emphasis on digital or data modes. Hey, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I am in Desolation Wilderness. In fact, if you remember, a few videos ago, I was actually down here and is using my HT my uh, with a Mobile Link D, a TNC, and my phone, an APRS droid. And I was able to use my HT and send an SMS message uh, to my daughter from here. Um, I can't do that. I can't do that today. Why? Because the SMS GTE gateway is kaput. It is gone. It went down in May of uh, 23. It's currently July. Um, so that SMS gateway is history. Now, if you go out to their website, they are looking for uh, like ham radio clubs that have an LLC or maybe some sort of business license. I think they ran into regulatory problems, you know, spam problems. Um, so if you can, go out to their website. And if you have a business license or something like that, maybe ham radio club with an LLC, uh, maybe you can help them out. That's what they're looking for to get the service reinstated. Yeah, it used to be you send an APRS message to SMS GTE with the phone number and the text message, and it would go to the phone, and they could reply. It would come back to your radio. But uh, that's not happening right now. So um, I've got my HT right here, as a matter of fact. Um, this is the Yaesu FT1. Right, can you see? I'm, I'm, I'm almost blind here. The FT1 with the Mobile Link D TNC3 on there. I know you guys are thinking, well, Craig, why wouldn't you bring the DigiPi if you wanted to do APRS packet stuff with your phone and APRS droid? Well, honestly, the TNC3 for APRS and packet is really the best solution. It's the lightest solution, and I'm counting grams out here. I just walked six and a half miles at 7,000 feet. Um, every gram counts. So this is really kind of a, an amazing device, the Mobile Link D TNC. And again, it's just for packet and APRS. So if you want to do other modes, obviously you need the DigiPi, you know, if you want to do uh, you know, HF modes or AX25 networking, that kind of stuff, DigiPi makes more sense. But just for using APRS with your HT, the Mobile Link D is really cool. And we've got a Signal Link antenna on here quarter quarter way for VHF and then I've also got the counterpoise on here if you saw one of my other videos I kind of did a HT antenna shootout this thing one hands down normally your HT is a quarter fed or end end fed quarter wave you know with a typical antenna but if you add the counterpoise it becomes a center fed half wave a true dipole so it really uh, it really shines and the reason I'm using this is so I can turn the power down to one watt and still reach the APRS digipeters that are probably about five miles south of here, the really remote radios. That took me, I, I walked in 6.8 miles. There's no service out here. There's no cell service. It's just their radio. And I've been using this with APRS Droid, uh, getting in touch with the XYL and friends. So I've been operating radio here all by myself. I'm going to spend a couple of days. So SMS GTE is gone. What are some workarounds? So what I suggest doing is there's a virtual radio called email, E-M-A-I-L. If you send it a text message, uh, APRS text message using your radio and with an email address, a space, and then a short text, like you know, 30 or 40 characters, it will go through as an email. So I know you're thinking, Craig, well, I want to do an SMS message. I don't want to do email. Well, 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 stick with me here. So if you know the carrier of the person you're trying to send an SMS message to, let's say it's Verizon, if you send a message to their phone number at vtext.com, um, that'll actually convert that email into an SMS message, Verizon will, and it will send it as an SMS. Now, they can't really reply. Uh, it's kind of one way, but it sure is better than nothing, especially with SMS GTE going down. So I don't, every carrier is different. So uh, AT&T is going to have a different domain. You know, it'll be their phone, the phone number at at something.com. Um, I don't have internet here. I, I can't fact check this at all. But what I'll do is I'll put a list of those carriers uh, email to SMS mailboxes. Um, so you can at least get an SMS message out using your HT while we figure out what's going on with SMS GTE, which is a fantastic service. Um, you might also, if you're, if you're handy with Python or a programmer, you might look at my GitHub account and get something called APRSD which is a virtual radio. Um, it can do weather, it can do email. Um, so you can launch that and run it in, you know, on a cloud server somewhere and interact with that, uh, your call sign. You're like, no, that's what I do. That's what I've been doing here. But anyways, some, those are some other options. I'm just trying to give you guys a way to send SMS messages or email when you're in a place like this and you got nothing besides ham radio. I mean, it, it is ham radio or nothing here. There's a, I have to go through two repeaters actually to get to the XYL uh, down in the Sacramento Valley. So uh, Lake Tahoe is over there, um, Sacramento is this direction, and in between there is just uh, what we call desolation wilderness. There's just 
nothing and no one here. Permits are required, you know, there are no vehicles are allowed, no fires, no engines, no nothing. In fact, this is probably what this place looked like a million years ago. If you can ignore the jets and contrails, this is probably what it looks like. So this is one of my favorite places. Um, I am beat. I'm going to get some dinner. I just showed up. I just wanted to let you guys know about SMS GTE and uh, we're operating ham radio here in Desolation Wilderness. Thanks for hanging out with me. My name is Craig. I'm in uh, California, Desolation Wilderness, and I'm clear.